Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a Rod and Staff Union. And just to answer some of the questions that are out there about what are the Rod and Staff Unions? We are the prototypers and the teachers of the template of relationship from 5D. So that is a connection to your true higher Twin Flame light body that you have. And we are Twin Flame teachers. Now, we are also scattered all around the world in strategic places. And that is a little bit of an explanation. So today, in this uh, video, what I want to talk to you about, again, is real love and the shift and roles. So a lot of people have been feeling the shift. It's been very tiring for you. Uh, you've been feeling a different type of fatigue that you're not really quite sure where does it originate from. And I do have those answers, which I'm going to be talking about in my webinar, the Divine Feminine Lovers and the Feminine in Transition. And you each have masculine and feminine. So even though a lot of people out there will say, well, my DM this, my DF that, my TF this, my karmic that, uh, you have to know that those terms are pertaining to humans. However, the part of you that is actually divine masculine is a part of you, whether you're male or female, you're both. And if you're divine feminine, you are still divine masculine and divine feminine. It's already been wired up to you. And it is a part of you and it is a part of your true, what is truly androgynous. So androgynous doesn't mean you know, flavorless, it means having everything. Everything's packed within. Although it's been expanded to varying degrees with people. So what I want to talk to you about now is about the polarity and paradigm shift because these are actually two separate things. There is a complete shift out of the old paradigm and there is a shift in the polarities, which these are both shifts from duality and living dualistically. What is dualistic living? It means uh, cause and effect. It can mean I push buttons and I'm always going to know what the reaction is. It's even that third law of thermodynamics. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, except when it comes to twin flames. Because when you try to provoke something up, sometimes you don't get the same reactions or you get no reactions. And this is where the rubber meets the road is that you have been the ones to shift out of the old paradigm. However, you are still releasing things. Some of the things that you're releasing have to do with roles. And what have some of the roles been for the divine masculine? What have some of the roles been for the divine feminine? So let's just say masculine and feminine. What have some of the roles been? What are some of the expectations? What are the mental, emotional connections, connotations? What are your connections to your collective and those traditions? Okay, so this is going to come up to bear on people where you're talking about not just ancestral stuff, but tradition. How does it pertain to modern life? Roles, sex, okay? This is not just an attitude towards sex. This is the actual sex and what's happening in the world. Also, money and money traditions. So if you have certain things within, you know, your ancestry or your family, you're going to find that sometimes many of these things, these aspects are a burden. The burdens of traditions, the burdens of certain cultural norms or religions or expectations, whatever it is. And also the past cosmic crimes. These can now start to come out. What are some of these? Some of these have to do with war. Some of these have to do with uh, kidnapping. Some of these have to do with complete decimation of places or people. And this is going to come up and it's going to throw people off because as it comes up to be released, you'll have some perception of it. How do you get balanced? How do you get the guidance that you need that's specific to you? But Because what you're going to find is that while there are commonalities, some of the common things are going to drift away from you. Why? 
We're in a completely different place now. We're in a different energetic space. And you have already gone through some of the shift. Okay, the shift that was expected to happen, happened. The events that were supposed to happen, happened. And it's still trickling into the physical level. And as it trickles into the physical level, it affects your physical body and your physical life. You can feel not well, you can feel uncomfortable. And I'm here to help people to get to feel better, to get you a handle on what you need to do for your life. How do you do that? Well, that is what I teach people. I teach you how to get your channels open and help you reciprocate the love, not just back and forth to each other, but from the level that truly supports your physical union. A lot of people, you know, they will they will have to varying degrees, their mind will say, if I'm not in physical union, then this. Or if someone's not in physical union, then it means that. That's dualistic also. That's duality for you. You are actually in eternal union. You are in the process of unification. That's what union really is. Some of you are saying, what's my mission? I'm being exhorted to do a mission. Well, how would you get that? I help you to get that and how to help you get that highest guidance that you need. I do that in sessions. And this is going to be some very, very refining energy for some people. For other people, you're going to feel like you're drifting along, wondering why things flatlined on you. Has it gone flat? And you're wondering where that other heartbeat is. Where's the matching heartbeat? Where's the heartbeat that matches your heart? Where'd the fire go? I mean, we're in Leo now. We're in the sign of Leo. Where'd the fire go? Okay. Did your fire burn out? Okay. How is the burden putting out your fire? Is the wateriness of the emotion dampening down your fire and you can't find it? Let's get that back. Things to fight for, okay? Not to fight with each other. What are you prioritizing that are worth fighting for? Not people to fight, not things. There's no more wars. There's no more being a firebrand. In fact, for a lot of you, the wind is out of your sails. But you need to pick up again and keep going. There are things that you still need to do. You need to properly care for yourself. You need to figure out... How do you get the burdens of these traditions and still live the way you want? So I have several things to help you with this. First of all, I'm going to mention, for those of you who are always curious about what, what does it mean about Blu-rays, I prepared a webinar called The Entire Rainbow Spectrum of the Rays and the Blu-ray Purpose. Now, if you are seeking information about not just Blu-rays, but the other rays, the rainbows of the rays, Check it out, okay? Check it out, and the link is going to be below. The other ones that will be helpful for you, Harvest Your Love, and one that's very helpful for now, Thriving in Two Dimensions. So thriving in two dimensions is something that you're going to have to become very accustomed to, very adept at, where there's no thoughts to it, where you're not even thinking on your feet. It's just a part of you. It's just a part of you where you are able to navigate very seamlessly here and here and here and here because it's not dualistic anymore. It's not like you're saying, well, I'm just here now. No, you're actually, you're actually, you've ascended to a different place. That's what the ascension is about, a different place, a different timeline entirely. Those old timelines don't exist. They don't exist for you. They don't exist for your twin either. So the days are gone where they can play out, you know, scenes where it says, well, for the next 30 years, I'm going to do this and be willful about it. No, it's it, the timeline's gone. They may not realize that it may still be trickling back into the physical level, into their physical life, but it actually is different now. How do you become adept at this? How do you open your channels that enable you to get the highest guidance that's specific for both of you. How do you open up your channels so that you have true heart communication and not just distorted telepathy or where you have to go look? How do you start channeling you? How do you start channeling you? 
I teach that. So I have uh, this webinar, Thriving in Two Dimensions. I also have one coming up in three parts, which is intended to give you a lot of support. Divine Feminine Lovers, we're going to be talking about the things that do bring you joy, vitality, youth, and passion. How do you slow down the aging price process? How do you increase the way that your mental capacity is and your emotional capacity? How do you increase and expand your heart without losing who you are so that you're keeping the traditions and the things that you love and the money that you need to keep thriving going? How do you keep your flow going and not falling apart? I don't like to see people fall apart. So um, I have that. We're going to be talking about clearing eyes, timelines through the body. There was a message here in this energy. Do not lose what you've gained. Do not lose what you gain, and only you can decide what things do you fight for. This doesn't mean fist fighting, okay? This doesn't mean fighting people or fighting the system. It means be persistent and vigilant about the things that are important to you. What is important to you? Is it your children? Is it a home? There's, there's a lot of other things that are in this energy. There's a sense of impermanence burdens, elders. A lot of people have been having to take care of elderly parents and help them get situated. Okay, so a lot of this might seem like, well, what does it have to do with my union? But you see from a standpoint and a perspective of being in your physical union, do you want the burdens to continue? Do you want the burdens? Do you want the sense of impermanence, like nothing lasts, everything falls apart? Nothing's lasting for you. Are there heavy money loads? Are there things that are just, you know, what you could call big ticket items? Stuff having to do with cars, homes, uh, rearranging things, getting people situated, getting children back to school, getting children into college staying in college, um, getting some of the things that you want and need, and kind of not knowing exactly how. Well, you don't do it with worry, okay? You do do it with wishing, so it has to be identified. But you, do, you can't stress about it and worry. You actually have to connect higher. If you don't know how to do that, we are going to be talking about some of this and all the other things that go with the creative energy. Because the creative energy has been traditionally thought of as feminine, and it is, okay? And it takes a certain degree of input from the masculine to be able to do it. But you also have to be able to blend it together, to weave together, and to alchemize. The true alchemy happens within your body and above you. And it happens through your channels, and it starts to resort things. How do you get that? How do you get to that level? That is what I'm here to teach people. So I teach about the twin flame body. And I also um, teach people how to not lose what they've already gained. If you've already gained ground, you don't want to slide back, even if it feels that way. And this is a distinct message to this. Okay. For example, if you fought for equality, if you fought for an equal paycheck, don't roll over on it, but nor do you have to fight anymore. You see, there's a paradox there. It had to be fought for. Now there's no more fighting, but there is a sense of maintaining and being vigilant. Okay. Things to fight for and things we've fought for. Okay. Things we've harvested because we have fought for it. Now we can reap the benefits of it. So if any of these interest you, please check out the link below. Also, I've been having a lot of people that have uh, really benefited from some one-on-one -on -one coaching and moving their energies. Where they're seeing some very distinct shifting within days of meeting. So if you would like something that combines a reading along with moving your energy and starting things to shift, and I do provide you with some support material, reach out to me. So I have, I have a webinar, okay? I have 
my recorded webinar, which is Thriving in Two Dimensions and Harvest Your Love. And I have a class here in Chicago. It is a one-day class at the Infinity Foundation. And, you know, this would be a very nice introductory one for someone who's not sure they're on the twin flame journey. Are you on a twin flame journey? Well, one of the first ways to know is your life goes upside down very quickly. So if that's happened for you or if it's happened already and you wondered about it, chances are you are. However, there's reasons and there's really positive things to do about it. I also do readings. Okay. I read the heart energy. I'm not reading the mind. And one of the differences is that while I can feel things here, when you start talking to me, you open up your heart energy. It's that simple. Your voice carries the vibration of your soul and it starts to open. And that's how I feel. And I'm able to sense. Now we go from there and we start getting things situated for you so that you have a direction, even though you're in the direction, but sometimes it gets a bit much on this journey. Sometimes people get overwhelmed. That is another prominent energy right now and emotion. Overwhelm. Just flat out exhausted. Just flatlined. Not sure what to believe anymore. And every time that happens, you have to steer it back and say to yourself, I'm here for real love. I don't know about, you know, all kinds of stuff like, you know, whether it's new agey or old agey or, you know, it's about this. Does it involve having to learn ancient languages? No, it has to do with being love, feeling love, feeling loved again and again and again and receiving love. And that's what it has to do with. So if this sounds interesting to you, and you feel it would help you, and you feel, okay, don't fight it, okay? Don't fight. Make small changes that would make a big change. Come and join. Come and try. Come and ask me. My website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. I'm all about the body because that is where you first felt the love, and that's how you're going to end up together physically touching and holding each other and living together, if not already. And that's also how you're going to get the heck out of here is through your body. So come and find out, get the ball started, get it jump started. If you are learning some things, some of those things might be old paradigm. You don't know. But if it's starting to not work for you, it's okay. Okay, maybe it helped you for a time. Maybe it was one of those stepping stones. Just like some of the soulmates, they've been stepping stones along your path. That's fine. That's fine. Okay? You don't beat yourself up for it. You have to feel what things to fight for. Okay? So take good care of yourself. Remember you're here for real love. And come join. Come and participate. So thanks so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week. And please know that come October... There's going to be another shake the foundations time. Why don't you get a jump start on it and find out? Because I do help people. We had a great time in my Lionsgate webinar. A lot of things learned, a lot of great participation and sharing, and a lot of laughs and a little bit of crying. Because it's all about feeling, feeling the love. So thanks so much. Bye.